Well, I've been asked to do some commentary by a friend on uh, melting aluminium. So, here goes. We've already got a steel saucepan on some logs. Hopefully getting some heat into that. Now to add some aluminium. Just old lumps that I've pre-melted. As you can see, I've poured some of these into bricks. Right, let's leave those to bake for a while. I'll be right back. Hi everyone. Midway through cooking, and what I've done is I've put a load of chipboard around the side of the uh, steel saucepan. Chipboard's good for this because it uh, it stays stable, doesn't explode as it burns like most other wood, and it burns nice and hot, as you can probably see. Hi everyone, back again, and uh, as you can see, hopefully the steel pan is glowing nicely, putting some heat into it. So we'll leave that for a bit longer, and uh, we'll be right back. Hello, back again, and uh, as you can see, we've got most of this turned to liquid. Still one stubborn bit left, but that shouldn't take too long. And once that's melted, we'll do a pouring. Okay, let's see if we can do a pour. Mold. So liquid. Right. Here we go. See if we get a full cube. Nope, not quite. Still, not a bad result. Yeah, well happy with that. Leave that to pull. Come back later. Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's see how this is cooled. Doesn't want to come out. Still quite warm. There we go, one three quarter cube the valley. I could not have done this without the help of some essential PPE, namely gauntlets, a face, a shield, and beer. Well, I'm licensed to burn, and uh, this is my channel, and thanks for watching. <laughs>